This is your host Danny and this is Expressions from English Plus podcast. Have you ever ruffled anyone's feathers or has anyone ruffled yours? What does that mean? Have you ever used that? Have you ever heard that expression before and you still don't know exactly how to use it? Join me in this expressions episode from English Plus podcast and we'll learn about all ruffling someone's feathers. So what does it mean to say ruffle someone's feathers? What does that mean? When do you ruffle someone's feathers? Well, it's very simple. You ruffle someone's feathers, that means you say something or you do something which upsets or annoys someone. So sometimes you can say, for example, I don't want to upset this person, but sometimes you can be a little bit sarcastic about it. What have you done to ruffle John's feathers? What have you done to ruffle George's feathers? What has he done to ruffle your feathers? So it is a little bit more sarcastic than just the word annoy or upset. If you want to be neutral, if you don't want to be sarcastic in any way, or at least you don't want to be understood as being sarcastic, or sometimes you may be even making fun of the whole thing, use upset or annoy. But if you want to add a level of sarcasm or maybe making fun a little bit, you can use this expression, ruffle someone's feathers. But don't get me wrong, we can still use it just to mean you do something or say something that upsets or annoys someone. Let me give you a couple of examples. You can say that this man always spoke his mind. He cared nothing for whose feathers he might ruffle. He didn't care. He just spoke his mind. It doesn't matter whose feathers he might ruffle. He said what's on his mind anyway. He's not afraid to ruffle a few feathers. We can use it in this way. Sometimes you're in a place and people start to get annoyed. They think that you're going to do something that's going to annoy them or upset them. So you can say, I'm not here to ruffle any feathers. I'm just here to do my job, to say what needs to be said. I am not here to ruffle any feathers. So you see, not all the times it's sarcastic or making fun, but it has an extra layer of meaning of just saying upset or annoyed. All right. I hope you found that useful and I hope you don't ruffle anyone's feathers unless it is necessary or, more importantly, unless you really mean to. So, another day, another expression. Thank you very much for listening to another expression from English Plus Podcast. This is your host, Danny. I will see you next time.